Hello and welcome to another video of Hosk CRM Dev. Today we are focusing on uh, solutions uh, exam cram notes. Now this is for the uh, MB2703 CRM 2013 custom and configuration certification. Um, now when I say exam cram it's not really cramming but what it's um, basically the so the video before we were going through we were learning how solutions worked learning all the different parts and now we have learned that and the, and the blog post to go with it now that that's learned now we have to basically revise that information and sort of keep reiterating it and uh, it's basically so we know it extremely well for when the exam comes questions will come up and we will just know the answer straight away so what I usually do here this is, and this is only my process is that I kind of learn the stuff firsthand reading the Microsoft Microsoft official curriculum the mocks and then I kind of take notes which I did in the blog basically I took notes from that and just made it a lot smaller because it's quite a long chapter that and then now I take those notes and just make them into small bullet points and uh, so we'll just be able to revise these and look at these and the reason I've done this as a separate video is that so we can just listen to this over and again and when you're revising so they're not very long they're bullet points mainly you'll see it's quite a small one so this shouldn't be a very long video and we'll just go through so um, I would have expected you to go through the, the blog post, understanding solutions, how they work, and watch the video. You should have done that. You, you understand how solutions work. Um, and so now, really, we're revising that information. So, firstly, I tried to have a look at the, the first kind of part of the exam. What is the difference between like, customizations, configuration, and development, extending CRM? So, a kind of config, I imagine, is team, security role, business units entities and views customizations standard GUI changes entities again forms views workflows business rules and those kind of changes and then extending CRM really this is anything to do with code so JavaScript .NET plug .NET plugins custom workflows console applications anything really where you're using code that's extending so with that in mind, I think the configuration and the customization basically could be the same thing when it's talked about. You know, they both could, I think, use entities and views. Um, extending is just code related changes. Um, and I put here this the CRM Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2013 software development kit is used to create and deploy plugins, web resources, and custom workflows. I mean, I don't know if these are going to appear in the exam, but just in case. So, there are some things which cannot be added to a solution. They are business units, teams, queues, goals, subjects, and the subject hierarchy, and the product catalog, anything to do with the product catalog. These cannot be added to a solution. So if you're moving these particular items between CRM organizations uh, or CRM databases, when I talk about CRM organizations, I'm basically talking about different sort of deployments. I think sometimes the documentation mention, mentions them as uh, databases. I tend to call them organizations, but basically the same thing. It's a different CRM or a different system. Could be the same, I guess, but... Um, so these things cannot be put into solutions. So you have to I usually you'll probably have to either manually create them, especially business units, I don't think there's any way to import those, or you can export and import them into the new system. Uh, if you want to use the same GUIDs as the team, so basically uh, GUIDs get randomly generated when you import things or create them. So if you created the teams in one system and then created the teams in another, they'd all have different GUIDs. You can export them with the GUID data in there and import them into another system and they will retain the same GUIDs if you use the GUIDs in your code. So what can be uh, shown in a solution, 
Um, so I've got that here. Look, you've got your entities, option sets, client extensions, web resources. So if you want to know those, you can go through that. Field security profile, security roles, mail merge templates, email templates, contract templates, all the templates, <laughs> connection roles, reports, dashboards, uh, plugins, processes, uh, business rules, new ones there, relationships, views, charts. So they can all go. I did have a list here, so oh, there are a few other things. Well, application ribbon, sitemap can go. So templates, business rule, charts, dashboards, email templates, entities, entity relationships, fields, field security profile. Yep, gone through these messages for plugins, that is. Processes, reports, SDA, SDK message processing step. I think that's plugins again. There you go, sitemap, service endpoints. I'm not entirely sure what that is. So they're the things that can go, and these are things that can't. Make sure you know these. Mainly, really understand the ones that can't go because there may well be a question which asks, you know, which says, you know, which of these can be in a solution. You, you need to know that so you know which ones you can cross off the list and which ones you can say, yep, they're definitely in. Um, right, so what else we've got here? Solution. Solutions in Microsoft Dynamics CRM is a method to let you group and manage your custom components for a particular set of functionality or release. So we know that basically solutions are wrapper. It can it's a way to sort of group all your changes and then be able to export them and then import them into other CRM organizations, CRM databases. Solutions are optional, you don't need them. You can use the default solution and customize that directly. So when an organization is created, a default solution is created which contains all the components. Now as we went through in the uh, code in the, the previous video that uh, well, if we can get there so okay settings so customizations customize the sim the system this is customizing the default solution so there it is at the top but this is so you can change all that and it's got and this contains all the entities in the system so you can just edit this manually without creating a solution it is mandatory it's not mandatory it's optional when an organization is created yet yeah, you can export the default solution but only as an unmanaged solution so if you actually went through the process of exporting it it won't give you a choice to say managed or unmanaged it will just export it as an unmanaged solution and then you can import this there you go. It's possible to export the default solution and import it into another CRM instance, but you cannot export the the CRM default solution from an on-premise to an CRM online, or vice versa. So from an online to a CRM on-premise, uh, the solution best practices is to split up business requirements either by releases or sprints if using Agile or business requirements, kind of functional requirements. Uh, there's no limit to the number, number of solutions you can create. So you don't need to have um, you know, just one solution with all these changes in. You can have lots of little ones, you know, whatever's easiest for you and uh, the way you work. Before you create a solution, you must create a publisher. We went through that. Um, publisher is a business required field on a solution. Um, the reason you need a publisher is the publisher has a prefix. This prefix will be added before the schema name for a field. So if a new field, it'll have my here will say my publisher has the prefix of Hosk. And then so when I add a new field, it, that's the schema name of the field. And then it puts the prefix of my publisher on there. And that's a, an entity. So you have prefix and then the entity name the schema name of the entity. Publishers are important because if it's an un, if it's a managed solution, only that publisher can change it. Okay, managed solutions cannot be exported from a system. So once you import a managed solution into a your target CRM system, you cannot export it again. 
you can only remove or delete it. There you go. And managed solutions can be deleted. And when you delete a managed solution, it deletes all the entities and all the data. Okay, unmanaged unmanaged solutions can be imported, exported. Um, basically, that's because unmanaged solutions change the default solution. Although that unmanaged solution will be a wrapper, a kind of re with references to the changes, the actual changes have been made to the core default solution, and you can export them again if you wish. Um, it's not good practice to import unmanaged solutions because they change. There's no way to revert them back. Managed solutions can't be changed or altered except by the publisher. That's important. I'm guessing there'll be a question on that. Uh, there are privileges needed to import a solution and publish it. Um, and I know some of these, uh, you have to be a system admin to like publish workflows um, and plugins, definitely. Um, but I think there's also security privilege about solutions. Um, managed solutions use managed properties. Um, we did go through that before. That um, basically there's a uh, so basically there's a thing called managed properties for default. Uh, entities they're all hard coded <laughs> so they're not hard coded they're sort of um, disabled basically they're all set to true and you can't you can't change them for custom entities these are you can change them so that's also useful to know may well pop up in the exam uh, where are we So manage, manage solutions automatically publish. Yeah, so you import a managed solution and it publishes straight away. Um, if you unmanage solutions, you import an unmanaged solution and then you have to publish all customizations for that to um, be for those changes to be visible to the users. Unmanaged solution components cannot be uninstalled. This is uh, this is why they're so dangerous in a way, because when you import an unmanaged solution, it makes changes to the default solution. Basically, you can't roll those changes back out. You have to go in and they'll overwrite any changes you've got there. And to change them, you have to actually change those entities, delete them from the system manually one by one. So they're quite dangerous. <laughs> when you delete an unmanaged solution, you are only deleting the solution file all the changes remain in the default solution. Unmanaged solutions can be exported as unmanaged or managed solution. Yeah, so unmanaged solutions, you can then export them as managed solutions. Um, you just have full control over them. Managed solutions can expose some components to be customized by the end user. I think that's that managed properties we'll look at. Um, solutions have built-in versioning. If version one is imported and then version 2 is imported over the top, you'll see a prompt to overwrite your changes. Uh, so here, that's the default solution though. We're not... So here you can see there's versioning and so if I was to import version 1.1 it would know that it's 1.1 and it'd ask me if I want to overwrite these changes. Solution version is major, minor, build, revision. So if we have a look at that, so it's the major, minor, build, revision. So here, easy navigate, which is a nice tool. You can import, it's a manage solution. So I can't change these, they are, they're there. I can use it and I can uninstall it, but I can't change it, which is kind of how it should be, I guess. Um, so major minor build revision so that's how what these four numbers mean custom solutions developed in CRM 2011 can be imported to CRM 2013 
and CRM online. So that's important. You can you can bring in your 2011 changes solutions into CRM 2013. They may not work, mind, because <laughs> uh, the code's slightly different. But uh, well, they've removed some of like CRM four code wouldn't work anymore, and certain changes so you'd have to test them. Custom solutions developed using future versions of Dynamic CRM cannot be installed into earlier versions without first being down leveled to match the earlier version. When you export a managed solution, you cannot import it back to the organization it was import imported from. So this is saying that when you export, you cannot import a managed solution back onto a sort of unmanaged one, because otherwise you won't be able to edit that anymore. And if you do, you're in big trouble, really. You'll have to revert the database back somehow. Um, be careful when importing an unmanaged solution because the changes cannot be removed and they will overwrite current changes. I've talked about that already. Solutions are additive. You cannot delete any components by importing a solution. This is an important point. You just basically, if you remove fields in a solution, they will not remove fields from the target organization. They just do not, they do not, solutions never remove anything. They can only add things. You need the system administrator role to import solutions. You cannot import entities or fields with the same schema name to components that exist in the database. This is another important point. Basically, if you have a field in a, in a solution and you try and import it and that field exists already it will it won't let you import the solution in fact what happens sometimes is that someone will have a solution they'll have a variable that is a string they'll delete that variable create it again with exactly the same name and make it an option set and then try and import it into the target system this won't work because that field already exists and it'll error and it'll be very tricky to find and you'll have no idea because the solution errors are, are not very informative and so you'll just be really scratching your head for a while so just never do that that's a very dangerous thing very annoying thing you'll do it once and then hopefully never do it again all imported security roles are created in the root business unit managed properties are fully customized by default Solutions created in CRM 2013 cannot be imported to CRM 2011. I think that's right. I'm not totally sure about that one, but I def I'm pretty sure that that is correct. The maximum size for a solution file for CRM online is 29.296 me megabytes. Very precise. Um, I mean, the, the way you'd get around that is you'd have a number of solution files if you were getting near that, that size. Doesn't seem massive actually, but I'm not sure how big solution solution files are really quite small. Although they could have like uh, DLLs and stuff. Um, for on-premise CRM 13, the maximum size for a solution is six megabytes, but this can be increased. Um, you must have the system administrator security role to input security roles, organization settings, SDK message processing steps, and plugin assemblies. Right, that is my exam cram. Finished. So what you want to do is just keep reading this, listening to this video and going through this so you know all these points instantly uh, and think this is 15% of your exam points here. So really know this. I'm, I'm guessing there'll be quite a lot of questions on solution because you know, it's a fundamental part. So just get learning um, and keep watching the videos. Uh, the next one for solutions is I will do, I'll be creating some uh, questions and we shall go through those and I will explain the answers. All right, thank you very much.